Hello, back. It's been a while since we've been in the house. Since you've been in the house. Oh, it's windy. <coughs> There's been a few changes. Hey, boss. Um, what I've been doing is filming a few things over the week on my phone. Um, just because I don't want to get the camera dirty, to be quite honest, because it's a bit of a mess. Um, this is the current situation outside. That is all the floor and floorboards and stuff that I've got to cut. <laughs> yeah, stuff we need to cut up and burn. Um, so what I'm going to do is take you inside and show you, I think the last you saw was actually the first time we came um, and me knocking a wall down. Um, are you ready? Because there's certainly no walls left. So same thing when we walk in. Um, that is all the insulation that needs to go in. Now, first thing you see, are you ready? Bit of a brief kind of recap. Um, it was the kitchen. We just took the kitchen units out. The stairs went up onto the first floor. Um, this is what it currently looks like. So, no stairs, which were there. No first floor. <laughs> This is the internal wall. This wall is actually coming down um, because this entire room is going to be open plan. So this wall is still yet to come down. Obviously, first floor to go in, new staircase. I thought you wanted me then. Nope, never. <laughs> new staircase to go in. Uh, and then this is the living room slash dining room open plan downstairs. Um, yeah, like I said, a lot has gone on since we were last here. So I think the main thing for anyone that's interested is all the things that have kind of gone on behind the scenes, um, things that we didn't really expect, i.e. it's stone. <laughs> I know my dad and my uncle are finding it very difficult to actually break the stone into pieces. Um, it's been taking the walls down, getting the beams in for the structure. It's a very, very old building, so... There's been quite a few bodge jobs, to say the least, right? Yeah. Yeah. Bodge it's jobs. It's a bit worrying when your dad, the builder who's working on it, says, I'm not quite sure how the floor's standing, and we've been walking around for about a week. He actually fell through the floor, though, didn't he? Yeah. Um, he called. <laughs> yeah, bless him. They're taking the, um, this floor down, which obviously is the ceiling, first floor floor, um, bedroom floor. And he, he fell through it. Much to my mum's, like, oh, are you okay? Um, he is, by the way. So yeah, this was the old fireplace. Um, it did have a gas fire in. That went all the way through the first floor, all the way upstairs, like you can see. We've actually taken that down. We're blocking it up just to give us a little bit more space. Um, it wasn't really in any fit state to be opened up, which I hoped it would have been because we were going to put like a log burner in, but it's not. So what we're going to do instead is put a log burner in this far corner here um, and just have it straight outside. Hopefully the plan is to have some nice big like bifold doors along this wall so you can see the view. And yeah, all oh, this is going to be open plan. Um, the ceiling, which is actually, like I say, it's been being plasterboarded now, um, they brought all that down as well and had to re-level it all because on one end of the room compared to the other, I think my dad said it was about eight inches higher. So they've had to re-level all the ceiling and put new beams in, re-plasterboard it all and obviously they need to do all this ceiling stuff as well. So that's this week's task. We got the keys two weeks ago and they've done this between two of them. So we are more than impressed at how much they've managed to get done, to be quite honest, and they've been working flat out, so, yeah. And the weather has been less than cooperative. We had a full, probably 10 days of snow, and because of where we are, up on this, literally on like the side of um, a hill face, opposite a valley, um, the snow was just relentless, the wind was even worse, and me and Paul came at one point and he has a four wheel drive truck and it got stuck. Just kind of puts it into perspective. So yeah, we're here today and we're gonna just hopefully tidy up a little bit and get rid of 
some of the wood, um, stuff that needs burning. Um, and I'm going to insert a few little clips. Oh, that's bright. A few little clips that I got over the week uh, on my phone, hopefully, if they're the right format. So here you go. Um, but just been up to the house and it's that beast from the east terrible snow that everyone's talking about um, dad bless him has actually managed to get here today so I don't know what it's going to be like tomorrow As I was saying, yesterday was a bit of a rubbish day, I'm going to say, for the building. Um, they, It's been, as, I, as I've said before, it's all been a bit of a bodge job. So things have been put together here, there and everywhere. It's a very, very old building. My face is bright red <laughs> um, from the cold. But they've taken some boarding off the windows, um, which you will see in a time lapse. And what's happened is the, wo the wall above the window wasn't actually held up by a lintel very well. They took this lintel out and the wall's fallen down. Obviously, if the wall falls down, that, <laughs> that means that the building structurally is not that sound. So we're two days behind schedule um, because that has had to piece by piece. They've had to pull the stone out, cut it to size, support the actual wall from the inside with lots of extra metal beams and stone beams, stone lintels, and then cement each piece of stone back in. Um, and you should be able to see on the little clips as well, like where they've had to do it because the cement is still wet. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. It's I'm not going to say exciting at this point because I think I'm more nervous than anything else. But I hope you guys are enjoying the process <laughs> um, and after this little time lapse if I've not already shown it because I don't know how these pieces are going to 
like clips are going to piece together just yet. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you haven't subscribed and you are enjoying it, please don't forget to uh, give it a big thumbs up. And I keep looking here, but the camera's there, which is weird because I'm on my phone. Anyway, I will see you next time. Bye.